Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee Buchhout. Welcome to the video presentation of our work titled Spatial Temporal Transformer for Crime Recognition in Surveillance Videos. Video surveillance systems are widely used all over the world to ensure public safety and prevent crimes from happening. However, monitoring these videos is a laborious task. Therefore, there is a great need to automate the process of crime detection in surveillance videos. A possible solution is to analyze the spatial temporal patterns of human body movement in surveillance videos. Universally, deep learning models are used for this type of research, but they have their limitations, such as only capturing local and short range dependencies. To overcome these challenges, transformers were introduced. In contrast to traditional approaches, transformers process input sequences as a whole. Transformers utilize multi-headed attention to capture interaction amongst all input elements by encoding each element in terms of global contextual information. This makes it possible to model long-term dependencies. Transformers were originally introduced in the field of natural language processing in 2017. The popular approach is to first pre-train the transformer model on a large text corpus and then fine-tune the model on a specific dataset and task, for example, sentence translation. In 2020, transformers expanded to images. And inspired by this, last year, the first Pew transformer network was introduced for human post estimation, called the postformer. The postformer models human joint relations within each frame, as well as the temporal correlations across frames, and outputs a 3D human pose estimation of the center frame. More recently, Masia et al. presented a novel temporal action transformer called the ACT-T. This approach studies 2D pose sequences over a defined time frame for action classification. Inspired by the performance shown by transformers dealing with time series data, we explore their capabilities for human behavior analysis. And we do this by posing two research questions. What is the effect of different body movement representations for the recognition of human-related crime activities? And how does the spatial temporal representation of the skeletons impact the recognition of human-related crime activities? To answer these questions, we assess ACT-T as a baseline and propose a new method called ST-TREN. ST takes as input the trajectories of skeletons extracted from F consecutive frames of a video. First, a spatial transformer module extracts the kinematic information between the joints of each skeleton and returns a new factor representation. Next, the temporal transformer module uses these new features to capture the global temporal information. The simplicity of the skeleton trajectories give us room to experiment with other ways to represent human body mo motion using ACT-T. We investigate the robustness of the following representations. Temporal based as frame sequences of 17 pairs of 2D coordinates and spatial based as joint sequences with an input of 34 joint coordinates. For our research, we use the HR crime dataset. The HR crime dataset was, was introduced last year, initially for abnormality detection, but can also be used for crime detection. As can be seen here, the dataset is divided into 13 crime categories with an additional category for normal behavior. The dataset contains skeleton sequences that encode the movement of human body joints from real-world crime surveillance videos. Each skeleton consists of 17 key points representing different body part locations using 2D coordinates as illustrated in this image. From our experiments, we obtained quantitative and qualitative, uh, qualitative results to help us answer our research questions. Analyzing different embedding dimensions on temporal features, we observe that ACTEMP obtains the best results with ACTEMP3, achieving the highest balance accuracy of 0.47. 
Exploring spatial features, we observe that ActSpot 2 achieves the best performance with an embedding dimension of 128, achieving an, a balance accuracy of 0.43. Given that the results of ActTemp are promising, we also examine the impact of ActTemp on longer frame sequences and find that ActTemp 5 with a segment length of 24 frames produces the highest balance accuracy of 0.48. Given a test segment of the category Abuse, where a person is about to hit a child on a bus, we predict the crime depicted in the input sequence, utilizing the person's trajectory and a trained model. We visualize the skeletons in the RGB frames to illustrate what part of the input is significant for the classification. For ActTemp, we observe that the ActTemp pays most attention to the first frame with a normalized sum of 0 0.21. Frames number 2, 4, 5, and 8 also seem relevant for the classification from this, uh, these visual results. For ActSpa, we display the normalized sum of attention scores in a dot plot to understand the overall importance of each joint. ActSpa demonstrates higher attention scores for X coordinates, so those are the red dots, than Y coordinates, the blue dots. To answer our second question, we evaluate the ST trend model. We analyze the impact of using different embedding dimensions and segment lengths, just as we did for the other. Uh, model we explored. ST3 achieves the highest balance accuracy of 0 0.46 with an embedding dimension of 32 on 12 consecutive frames. Exploring longer frame sequences, we see that the balance accuracy increases until we reach 60 frames where ST trend 8 has a balance, accura balance accuracy of 0 0.49. So let's look at the visual results. Part A of this figure displays the temporal attention heat maps. The high contrast between brightly colored and black columns in figure 4A implies that splitting up the transformer into separate modules such as in, as in ST-TRAN visually results in an efficient model for learning global dependencies between the input elements. Frame number 8 seems extremely important because heads 2, 5, 6, 7, and 8 all focus on this specific frame. Looking at the RGB sample frames of ST-TRAN, in figure 4b we see an opaque red skeleton in the 8th frame, indicating the most meaning meaningful frame with an attention score of 0 0.43. In figure 4d we present the joint based attention that our model ST-TRAN offers. For the abuse frame, for example, we observe that the right elbow and ankle have the highest attention scores of 0 0.19 and 0 0.14 respectively. These results relate to the subject raising their arm and bending forward to strike. To assess the effect of different body movement representations, we analyze different configurations of spatial and temporal features using the transformer architecture proposed by Masia et al. To explore the effects of spatial temporal representation of skeletons on crime recognition, we presented a transformer-based model which encodes and classifies spatial temporal skeletal trajectory representations. And we also benchmarked the HR crime dataset with a balance accuracy of 0 0.49. To conclude, as I've mentioned, we benchmarked on the HR crime dataset given the complex scenarios that are presented. And our results indicate that our proposed model competes in performance while improving the interpretability of the transformer framework by providing insights into the kinetics related to a crime related action. For future work, we want to incorporate this fine-grained information for crime prediction. We would also like to explore the grouping of information, such as the grouping of joints. Thank you so much for watching our video presentation and thank you for your attention. The HR Crime dataset is publicly available for anyone who is interested. You can scan this QR code and it will take you to the site. If you like this video and would like to read more about our work, please check out our paper, which will also be available soon.